The US territory of Guam took a battering from the most powerful typhoon to hit the island in two decades. Typhoon Mawar brought torrential rains and strong winds of up to 240 kilometers per hour, wrecking houses and flipping over cars. Phone lines and power have been cut off from most of the Pacific island. It's bad, it's bad. I need, I, I, I need to get out of there. I always pray to God to help me and my family and all the people of Guam. Prone to typhoons, Guam is home to more than 170,000 people. 10% of whom are connected to the U.S. military, which has two bases on the island and controls nearly a third of the territory. The U.S. Navy says it's sending an aircraft carrier strike group to help with recovery operations. Guam authorities warned electricity and water may not be available for days and perhaps weeks until after the storm passes. All but 1,000 of the island's 52,000 homes and businesses lost power. No deaths or injuries have been reported thus far. The governor of Guam had asked those near the coast to evacuate and others to stay inside their homes. We are at the crosshairs of Typhoon Mawar. Take action now. Stay calm, stay informed, and stay safe. The White House ordered federal agencies to assess the damage. Uh, federal agencies including FEMA, Coast Guard, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the National Guard have been deployed and are coordinating response effort. The White House is in close contact uh, with the government of Guam and uh, has offered uh, as much support as needed uh, to respond to this, uh, to this, tragic, uh, to this tragic major uh, storm. The storm has weakened and is heading north. It could hit the Philippines and Taiwan next week. Alex Chen and Bing Wong for Taiwan Plus.